across the Atlantic and I. Leonard has been very gracious to help uh, provide us consulting services to the Round Lake Management Commission, which many of us are, are appointed members of from the uh, from the various villages that the three villages that border the lake here. And Leonard has provided us a, a tour of the lake uh, two two year two prior years, and this is our third year. And we uh, we always enjoy his uh, expertise and guidance on the lake here and throughout the year. And what we uh, what we'd like to do is uh, and ask Leonard to give us just a bit of an introduction of what we're going to do today, and then we'll saddle up on the boats, grab a cup of coffee and an extra donut and then we'll head out in the water and make our way around the lake and, and Leonard has uh, uh, points where we'll stop and we'll, we'll talk about plants and fish and shoreline and water quality and all his, uh, his, his hardware there in the boat with his lovely assistant will be helping us out and with that let me turn it over to Leonard. Alright yeah what we're going to do today is we're going <coughs> to go around the lake I'm going to stop at various points like, like Kim said so I'll point out different plants that, that, that are in the lake and then you'll have it because there's a lot of new faces here so um, a couple of you have been on this before it'll be similar to the previous years but we'll stop look at the plants point out some good and bad as we go around we'll point out different types of um, shoreline uh, armoring that, that's on the lake and areas where there's uh, erosion areas where there's native native areas that, that, that are What we do when we go to a lake for our water quality um, assessment. We think about uh, drinking it. When, 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 we, when, our, when your lake is in our program for the year, what we do is we'll go to the lake once, once a month and we'll collect water samples and do water uh, quality parameters and then we'll bring them back to the lab. Comes in, she, she works in the lab um, at the health department and then she does it like over at her lab peeps, they do the um, analysis of the um, samples, um, and then we write, write a report and everything like that. So we'll, um, we'll just slowly go around the lake, and I'll, I'll stop and gab a little bit about each thing. Can I interrupt about each thing? Yeah, no problem. Name that weed, please. Well, this top piece is milfoil, and this this one is um, Valsneria eelgrass, water yeah. salary. Um, that's what this looks this I'm is on the lake, and this time of year, a lot of that gets cut off or pulled out of the Yeah, it, this is dying off right now. This yeah. is dead. Uh, is that good or bad? This, this is a this is a very good good plant. This is not a good plant. Of it that comes in. And this is Eurasian water milfoil. Yep. And, and had had for, for our oh, goes out over here into Long Lake, and then into the into the chain of lakes. Um, one thing I'm going to stop here. I always stop here and point the shoreline out. They did a beautiful job on this park. You got it. This is a great park, playground, pavilion, beach, but they somewhat neglected the shoreline. Um, they want people to come enjoy the park, enjoy the lake, but every year they're getting less and less shoreline. As you can see, when I first started coming, there was much more grass between the sidewalk and the, uh, and the lake there. Every year more and more small, sloughing in. Uh, this is an example of how turf grass, turf grass has little, real short little roots and they, they do nothing to stabilize essentially the, the shoreline. So one thing in our report, if you had read our report or touched up on it, um, this would be a very good area to do like a buffer strip planting between the sidewalk and the lake native plantings, uh, they have long root, root base, they'll be able to help secure that, hold that um, shoreline in place, and uh, still make little little uh, out, outcrops and out walkouts so people can still come here and fish. So Leonard, Leonard, where does it go? It erodes and where does it ultimately go? Into the lake, creates sediment, fills the channel, the channel was just, they just spent millions of dollars dredging the, these channels out and slowly they'll get good again with the, uh, with the erosion of, of, uh, of this because it goes right from here. Right and here's down. a perfect example. That that area was dredged where our commission boat is and as you can notice uh, 
Rick is having a difficult time getting over here because it's all sedimented already. So yeah. And even even into the channels, I don't know if we went into there, but those channels are uh, they did a lot of work on them channels and then it's all they did nothing with the shoreline. So it's kinda sad, but uh, keep help trying to help them uh, move along. And there are funds out there, different grants and stuff that, that would help with native plantings and stuff like that.